Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite. So, um, we've got new updates, and I know that I'm a day late to this, guys, uh, but <laughs> I've got uh, a lot of things going on lately, but we're going to jump into this, and we're going to talk about patch version 3.1.0. So, uh, first of all, there is some Twitch exclusive Prime stuff that we're going to talk about. Uh, and impulse grenades. So impulse grenades are now also in our save the world version of the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, let me jump in here. Am I going to be able to do this? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Uh, can I do this? Yes, I can do this. And then I can do mm, this. And we're going to jump in. And we are going to take a look at this right here. All right, so there we go. Oops, sorry. Um, so here we go. So we have um, patch version 3.1.0 notes. So um, let's check out the overview first. A lucky landing in battle royale, uh, hunting rifle battle royale, auto fire shotgun, save the world. Um, brave beginnings and save the world, general. Controllers and mice cannot be used in tandem. This is really cool, actually. Um, I'm actually going to be using a controller, I think. Um, it's going to be fun. Notification UI has updated animations and now promptly exits the screen when, the, when dismissed by an action. That's pretty cool. Uh, a general bug fixes. You guys can check them out. You know, uh, nothing here that really seems to be awesome for me, except the fix some memory leaks that result in crashes. I was kind of hoping to see here that we were going to see a um, um, them addressing the um, the lag issues because the lag is definitely back. The lag is most definitely back, and it is kind of it has been a bit um, it's been a bit negative, you know, to, to have that back. But hopefully, the fix. Okay, so let's just go straight to save the world because that's what we're here to talk about. Uh, Spring It On continues, adding new quest line, Brave Beginnings. Many of us have already given up on our New Year's resolutions, but Val has not. Join the Brave Survivor on her mission to join in the battle against Storm as a defender. Also, I apologize if I cough or, or anything during this video. My throat is still very, very not 100% yet. Uh, we've added new group missions to all theaters. Currently, the mission is Fight the Storm with encounters designed for four players. Uh, these missions allow four extra defenders to be used. Thank you. Uh, rewards for group missions should be roughly double, except for spring it on gold. The latter remains unchanged. Mm -hmm. Impulse grenades have been added. Blast enemies in the air and off cliffs. Use these to mount yourself or your friends up to hard to reach places. This is actually really interesting. So we are getting several things into our game that initiated from the Battle Royale. Um, for example, the campfires. Uh, campfires are actually exceptionally good to use when you're using defenders because defenders can't really defend themselves. <laughs> uh, but if you drop a campfire with them, it actually helps them out a lot. Um, if you don't have double jump, let's say, or you don't have um, the the face shift, uh, you know, with some of the uh, some of your heroes, using the impulse grenade can re actually really help you, especially to jump and reach places. Uh, these are temporary back uh, power ups, so we'll remove the backpack at the end of the mission. Oh, Dragonfire shotgun is now available <coughs> in the weekly store. Okay. Shoots up cone of fiery death, damaging all husks in the area. Heavy auto shotgun with a slower rate of fire and smaller magazine size. We'll have to take a look at this. <coughs> Damage of Dragon's Roar assault rifle increased by 20%. Really? Okay. I'm going to get the Dragon's Roar very soon, and we're going to have to talk about the Dragon's Roar because the Dragon's Roar has amazing it has an amazing capacity i was actually thinking that they were going to nerf it but they've made it even stronger wow uh voting has been added to the blue glow difficulty pylon after inserting enough blue glow for a difficulty bump the voting window will open will appear i'm guessing this was to avoid a lot of us uh you know like upgrading it really fast and then some people being like whoa whoa, whoa this might be too difficult but honestly you just up level it 10, 10 more levels it's really not the big of a deal unless you're like, you know, you're doing like a two player, you know. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Hopefully people will, will vote yes. Um, because even if you have some people who are weaker, they should just join up with the stronger ones and it should be fine. 
Um, if the vote fails, a 45-second anti-spam timeout is put into effect before uh, effect before another vote can be taken. That's cool. The deposited blue glow will return to the player who initiated the vote. Uh, voting is not required. Missions with only one player, of course. Uh, training manuals. Trap designs and weapon designs used to evolve schematic or person are now refunded when they are recycled retired. Perfect. <gasps> really? No, that's awesome. I like that. Uh, this refund is in addition to the 149 currently returned when you recycle or retire a rare epic legendary item. Cool. Uh, change crit damage versus afflicted targets and weapon modifier from 30, 45, 60 to 45, 67.5, and 90%. Wow. Dragon Launcher no longer rolls magazine size perks. Oh, too bad. I know some people are enjoying that. Uh, Rock Grenade Launcher will no longer roll headshot perks. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, I wonder if that's also going to affect the ones that are already in the game because I know some people who have uh, headshot perks for uh, for rocket launchers and it's kind of like, what's the point if you're just exploding everything, you know? Uh, wooden wall spike traps have had the reload speed uh, perks removed and replaced with valid perks. Wall and floor launcher traps have had their damage critical and chance and critical damage perks removed. Okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, fixed initially allowed players to damage Lars Van during the timed encounters. Really? Hmm. Uh, fixed small boxes of fireworks that drop around if they're being destroyed by Husky or Pain Tank. Oh, nice. Uh, display play now button for one to build a hoverboard. Quest, since the quest is fairly dependent on players traveling to the right zone. Hmm. We have temporarily disabled the difficulty pilot and delivered the more missions to address issues with blocking track placement. Players that uh, play in maps much lower than their current level will have their party stats clamped. We will continue rebalancing start clamping to make sure parties of mixed levels find the content appropriately challenging. Okay, cool. Uh, so we've got some heroes uh, changes here, some perks, some benefits, some bug fixes. Um, nothing in nothing that really is, you know, like really, really rushing out of me here. Nope. Uh, UI looks pretty good. Bug fixes, okay. Uh, fix issue, we're putting the cruise control quest is not, okay, all right. Audio, okay. Um, all right, so that seems to be it. Um, if we actually look at the general, you know, overview of this, it seems to be a pretty decent upgrade. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot. We don't have music. It seems to be a pretty decent uh, update. Um, I, I got to tell you guys, these new weapons that we are seeing, uh, let me take this down for a second. Boop, okay. Um, these new weapons that we have in the game now, um, the... Just bring it on. Oh, wait. Can I actually do... Oh. Oh, I can actually start Brave Beginnings. I can start Brave Beginnings without having to finish Luck Explosion. Hmm. Um, definitely, I would recommend you if you don't have a good... Um, uh, if you don't have a good um, Assault Rifle, definitely go for the Dragon's Roar. Um, I'm very excited to get it. I want to show you guys what the Dragon Roar exactly can do. It can do some pretty amazing stuff. Um, level it up high enough and you're going to be able to go very, very far. Um, let's go ahead and open these up real quick. Um, apart from that, I mean, I have to say I am really enjoying seeing how they're advancing the game, how they're progressing it for us. Um, it's pretty cool. It's actually very cool. Oh, nice. It's actually very cool to see. I was hoping it gold. Um, it's actually really cool to see just where the game is going and how we're how we're progressing, um, and it's going so much faster now. Um, this I know is probably something that they you know are tried to do differently, where we're getting these weekly updates kind of. Uh, let's go with the pistol because I already have all the all the. All right, cool. And that should be it. Okay. All right. So let's go finish this. Uh, we're done here. Uh, we have a regular people llama, not a super people llama. So I will not be pulling from it. Uh, and here we go. There is the copper dragon fire. I ended up not getting the handgun just because I didn't feel like it was for me. Um, I think the copper heartbreaker wouldn't be bad. The snuggle specialist Sarah is definitely one worth getting. I'm going to have to ask around and see what people are doing with the copper dragon fire. Uh, hopefully it is good enough to actually use in that sense. Uh, so the other thing I'm going to do here is we're going to look at, we got the Copper Bear and Wall Dynamo. Don't need either of them. 
Uh, so I will be saving my week, my um, weekly, my daily uh, coins. Of course, we're going to purchase all four drops of rain. Uh, again, guys, this is something that if you're not doing, I highly recommend you go ahead and purchase these drops of rain ASAP. Uh, if you're already in the higher and higher levels as well, I mean, you know, uh, lightning and bottle, eye of storm and storm shards are definitely also worth it because you will need those in the future. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, we have one survivor to get here and the event. Oh, the event doesn't have when it ends anymore. I thought I had some like 30 something days left. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, so that's what we have got. Ooh, yes. I'm so happy. Husky. I, you know, I kind of feel like abandoning this one, but I'll leave it for now. Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I have a couple of things to work on, especially I will be releasing a, uh, an opening, uh, I was going to say unboxing, an opening video opening at this point, 15 spring llamas. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get more, but at least we're going to open 15. I think it's going to be awesome. Hopefully we get some of the new weapons. Um, and that's something also to look at. If you are playing the game a lot right now, remember that you may get these uh, these uh, dragon weapons. Um, definitely the dragon roar is the one to go for. It. The affliction and everything and the bonus and perks. Uh, I've seen some absolutely amazing damage. Because these weapons will set on set on fire. Um, so via fire damage is effective against the nature enemies. Uh, so yeah, it, it deals fire damage and some of these weapons will, you know, set them on fire, which is damage over time too, which is absolutely amazing in this game. Uh, it can do some really, really incredible things. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, if you guys want more information, especially about the Save the World, I don't think there's much more we can talk about. Um, that seems to be all of the updates they have. Very cool, though, that they are updating on the daily, pretty much. Um, that's really cool. I really do like the fact that they are updating constantly weekly. I mean, sorry, weekly. Uh, and this is version 3.1.0. Um, it's very possible that we're going to see a couple more in the rest of this month, uh, especially before the update ends. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, actually, that I can start five or six at the same time. So I'm going to finish the big wick one and then go to the dragon level evolution. I don't know what bye bye or misfortune is. Oh, I know what it is. You have to have one of these weapons to actually do this. So that's why we have a new one. Uh, the blue badge of courage. Protect and launch a mega llama cracker to light up the night sky. Okay. Oh, that's the big wick. Um, what is the blue badge of courage? Big wick. Blue badge of courage. Find and defend Mel. We can do that. All right. So thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. Don't forget. I do have a giveaway going right now. It still has a full week to go. If you guys want to be a part of that, make sure to go ahead and uh, go like, uh, like and subscribe. Well, like the video and comment on the giveaway video. Subscribe to my channel. And next Saturday, I will be pulling that winner. I'll actually be pulling three winners. So good luck, guys. Hope you guys get it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.